Something that he says that is so profound and still relevant for today is why is the killing of a million a lesser crime than the killing of one person? Why can a leader kill so many people in his, unfortunately, his own country and, and, uh, and not face the same justice that someone who kills one person on the street or however faces? That stuck with him and he devoted his life to make sure that leaders are held in the same way that individuals are. My name is Edith Bellsberg. I'm the director of Watchers of the Sky, and my film is premiering in the U.S. documentary competition. My film is about Raphael Lemkin, who is really an unknown hero who gave his life to stop massive atrocities. He coined the word genocide and uh, created also the, uh, the Genocide Convention, which was one of the first human rights laws ever passed. Through his story, we also tell the story of five other individuals who have committed their lives to um, stop massive atrocities and to create a legal system that would help prevent these type of crimes. It really became a process of how do you tell someone's story uh, who isn't alive, <laughs> obviously, with very little archival footage. I think we found only a handful of uh, handful of photographs. Immediately, it was how do how do I uh, tell his story? And so going through his writing, he was very visual in terms of how he described his childhood. And so one way I thought would be a unique way to tell his story and then also interweave it with what's happening today is through animation. And so a large part of the film is animated. And um, this animation really serves as a relief and then also a visual way to tell Lemkin's story. He was at the UN every day, lobbying. He single-handedly pushed through the Genocide Convention, done by one man. One of the characters in the film tells an incredible story um, about you know, watchers in the sky, and it's really about um, the continuation, that we might not see uh, the impact of our work today or even in our lifetime, but that someone might pick up the torch and, and then continue that work. It's really about not giving up, 